Hi everyone, welcome to my Wednesdays with Walt newsletter and today we're going to talk about technology. Now, how many of you have a love-hate relationship with technology? Well, guess what? So do I. And to be honest with you, I can't imagine our world today without computers, cell phones, Google, apps, Facebook, Instagram, or yes, even TikTok. But if you're an old Yahoo like me, well then you remember what life was like before all of this tech. And yes, it was a life, it was a world that was a little more private, a little less invasive. It was a world and a life that was a little simpler and a little less stressful. Which begs the question, what exactly is technology. Well, I once worked with a colleague, a crusty colleague, who defined technology as anything invented, anything created after you were born. And if you stop to think about it, that makes sense. Let me illustrate it with this story. A little more than 40 years ago, I went to college and everyone on campus knew who the rich kid was. Owen McMillan. And first of all, doesn't Owen McMillan just sound like the rich kid? And Owen, Owen was preppy. Owen was extremely preppy. But mostly, we knew that Owen McMillan was the rich kid because when he moved into his dorm room in the fall of 1982, he moved in with his own personal and private V C R. Ooh. Now today, I don't think anyone shows up to college and moves onto campus with their own personal or private VCR. And if they did, they'd get laughed at. Or worse, no one would care. Because today, you can watch whatever you want, wherever you want whenever you want with the cell phones that we all carry around in our pockets. But back in 1982, the VCR, that was the emerging and expensive technology. No one had a personal or private VCR. Well, no one except, of course, for Owen McMillan. Well, whenever I am struggling with the newest or the latest, or the greatest, I think of Walt Disney. Because Walt Disney was always willing to embrace the newest and the latest and the greatest in technology. We see it first with the insertion of sound in the Mickey Mouse cartoon, Steamboat Willie, back in 1928. And then we see it again with the development of the world's first full-length animated feature film, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs in the 1930s. And then, of course, we see it with the development of the first theme park, Disneyland, where he takes us, the guest, puts us into the story. And in putting us into the story, he develops the world's first virtual reality experience before the term virtual reality even existed are the virtual reality technology that we enjoy today in our 21st century. Why or how? Because Walt Disney, Walt Disney loved technology. He loved technology for the use of storytelling and he used it to create his own version of a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. And so I think the challenge for us the challenge for us is to figure out how are we, how are we going to use technology to embrace, to build, and to create our own version of a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. My, um, my newest so-called carousel of progress is I'm trying to start a YouTube channel. And I'm gonna be honest with you. In today's world, not everybody likes to read. Not everyone even likes to open an email. Video, 
video is king. And it seems like everyone, everyone just loves YouTube. And to be honest with you, I, uh, I, I, I don't quite get it. Because I grew up when television, network television was king. I can remember making the transition from the antenna to cable. I can remember when NBC, CBS, ABC, they were, they were the king. And when, when Fox showed up as a new national work in the, as a new national network in the 1980s, it, it took me forever to embrace the idea that there was a fourth major national network. And here we are today where anyone, somebody like me, can create their own channel. And, and, and even children can be on YouTube and, and, and bring in the big bucks, creating content that I don't even have time to consume. But figure it out I will, figure it out I must. Which again, reminds me of our good friend Walt Disney and specifically, Walt embracing what was the newest and latest greatest technology back in the 1950s, which was, guess what? Television. And in the 1950s, it was television that terrified the movie studios in Hollywood. So much so that they wanted nothing to do with television, nothing to do with this new emerging technology. In fact, they looked at television the way a homeowner would look at termites. Again, nothing to do with it. But Walt, Walt, as usual, saw things differently. He saw television not as a threat, but as an opportunity. He saw television as an opportunity to get into the living room of every American home and to speak to the heart of every American family. And so I think, again, this is an opportunity, regardless of where you are in your life, regardless of where you are in your business, regardless of where you are in your career, to ask yourself, where are you with technology in the 21st century? Because Walt, Walt looked at the landscape in the 1950s, and he tested the waters. He tested the waters with a single show, a Christmas Day special, December 1950. And he tapped a studio employer, a fellow by the name of Bill Walsh, to be the producer of that Christmas special. And when Bill found out about this assignment, he, he was dumbfounded and responded to Walt by saying, Walt, I, I don't know anything about television. And Walt simply replied, who does? Well, guess what? That Christmas special on December 25th, the afternoon on Christmas Day, was a smashing success. It captured 90% of the television audience. And so Walt repeated it again the following Christmas. And so at that point, networks were clamoring for Disney to do a weakling television series. And Walt was willing, but he was only willing if the networks in turn were willing to invest in his next technology, which was, you guessed it, his theme park. And the networks, fearing that risk, fearing making that leap, well, they balked. NBC said no, CBS said no, and it was only ABC, then referred to as the almost broadcasting corporation because they barely had any viewers. It was only ABC that was willing to partner with Walt Disney that signed on. And that's how Disneyland became possible. It's how the Disneyland television show became possible. And for those of us who grew up watching the Mickey Mouse Club television program, it's how that show and that program became possible as well. So I end by asking you this question. How are you, my friend, 
How are you staying current? Or do you find yourself like I am right now, struggling? Are you allowing technology to pass you by? Or are you allowing your attitude and your mind shift, your mind, your, 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 your what's the word? Hmm. Your, um, your, 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 your mind, whatever, um, your attitude to shift and move forward in a new and different direction, or worse, are you going to stay stagnant the way the studios did in the 1950s? Are you connecting or are you complaining? Are you going to have a vision for your own great, big, beautiful tomorrow? Now, to be honest, I have zero experience with YouTube, which means I have absolutely no clue how any of this is going to go. But my commitment is to take what has been a weekly newsletter via email and to record it via video on YouTube each and every week. And I want to invite you. I want to invite you to join me on this journey and to be one of my earliest subscribers. And yes, it's, it's been more than 40 years at this point, but who knows? Maybe Owen, maybe Owen will subscribe as well. Thanks for listening. Thanks for reading. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and never stop dreaming.